Gamers, look, it seems, yeah, that we have a new ban list um, pretty early. I think the last one was not too long ago, if I recall. But you know what? I'm guessing this is probably going to be for the new cards. I'm guessing this is probably like the kind of like smaller, like early ban list that they like to do in this game. So let's just check it out without further ado. I don't have a lot to say. I'm hoping that we see a Diablosis ban. That would be really cool, especially since we're probably going to get a Rise Heart soon. I would really like if Kashira wasn't like completely dominant. Uh, uh, but we'll see what happens because that deck does look really annoying but let's see here so expected date for forbidden is october 10th which makes sense i think that's like three days or something after the new box or maybe right when the new box drops something like that anyway let's see so cards to be forbidden kelbeck wait what kelbeck okay yeah no i'm okay with this and the diablosis there it is so okay kelbeck ban is really interesting i mean i wasn't seeing that much decks like really running the millers anymore anyway but kelbeck is really strong and there was still those like weird like punk tier decks that did run kelbeck so i mean i really don't mind kelbeck being banned i think agito and kelbeck being banned only makes sense those cards are super broken i think each shuffler at one is perfectly fine i think that's about as many ishizu cards as we need in this game to be completely honest with you so kelbeck ban completely fine with me um diablosis though that's i'm really happy to see that diablosis if you guys are probably familiar with diablosis but you check out your opponent's extra deck you can banish cards from your opponent well a card from your opponent's extra deck and then you get to like mill a bunch of their cards face down in their banish pile uh like i think an equal amount to what they already have face down in their banish pile so you could easily like mill like four to eight cards on turn one from the top of their deck face down in the banish pile and it's just disgusting so i definitely think like having diablosis gone is going to help at least like you know tone down the cash tira deck a little bit because diablosis is just too good in cash tira it's 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 just too good so in the same way that they banned toad before sprite would come out they're banning diablosis i'm super for it i think it's a good idea is that all they're doing cards to be limited haveness limited damn damn they're just straight up like yo like you're not playing any tears bro you want you're not playing tears that's actually wild having this limited is crazy nibble beaver to one is also like yo what you know like nibble beaver to one is like okay <laughs> sprite you are not running the angler engine anymore you do not and other decks because like there was a lot of decks that are not even sprite that would just like run the angler stuff with the sprint just because it's so easy to throw into your combo so is this a bad change i guess not like it's I, it makes sense it's kind of messed up though it, it is kind of messed up i'm not gonna lie now there's no way anyone's running angler anymore no one's sending angler with sprint anymore so i'm not even sure what people are really going to be doing with sprint at this point i mean is this a bad change i honestly don't think so um i think like sprite combos have gone a bit too straightforward and it feels like it's really really hard to interrupt them because they just have like they have so many opportunities to pull cards out of their decks to continue their combo the sprint sending angler was one of the most ridiculous things that sprite can do so i honestly don't think this is that bad of a change like i love sprite don't get me wrong but like it, it does get old at a certain point just looking at the same combo every damn time and you're like oh well what's the point i'm gonna ash gigantic but they're gonna starter and they're gonna sprint and they're gonna get whatever they want regardless right so i definitely think this is a good hit to sprite in my opinion is it gonna kill them i don't know i think sprite is still gonna be good i think like sprite is just such a strong engine and the extra deck monsters are so amazing that you just kind of like can adapt it i think like runic sprite is still gonna be the best variant of the deck runic sprite is not really going to lose much power well i guess it does lose power but not so much that it becomes a bad deck or anything like that you just won't get to have that super overpowered like plus two off of your sprint which i, I think is fair uh and now cards for which the limit will be lifted okay so no semi limits thankfully um so luster pendulum the draco slayer going to three they've been kind of unhitting these cards for a while now pretty much every other ban list they would unhit these cards so now luster is free bamboozling gossip shadow only makes sense this was a card that was used to make a five material rongo rongo is now banned and bamboozling gossip shadow well it's just a pretty cool like monster negate in rank three decks you can use it to stop a hand trap in your rank three combos stuff like that so i mean like you know it's it's i mean it's a good card but i definitely don't think it's a bad thing if bamboozling gossip shadow comes back it's it's just like a pretty good monster negate for rank three decks and analyzer going to three i think is only fair and i'm glad that they're starting to unhit these decks like these unwarranted hits that need to get off the list uh if we can just see a unhit like there's a lot of decks that should be unhit like a uh, predator plant scorpio or whatever the the good predator plant monster is still a two 
for some reason i really don't understand can you please put that back to three as well like seriously like that card that deck is not doing anything like you, you can give them back their monsters right uh but yeah overall i would say this is a pretty good list pretty good list uh not much to complain about i am happy to see the diablosis band i'm still not super excited for arise hard coming out i might actually make a video about that just showcasing how like disgusting cash is gonna be i'm glad i waited to make that video though because uh <laughs> i would have definitely showcased the deck with diablosis but uh yeah you guys probably already know this but arise hard is like a macro cosmos on legs and it has a really good effect it's just a super stupid card and you can summon it for free it's it's really gross so we'll see what happens with that i mean i'm really again i'm not looking forward to it uh hopefully it's not too dominant but I, I think it most likely will be especially in a best of one format where if there's just enough variety it's going to be really hard to be prepared for everything else because it feels like you kind of have to run specifically cash hate when there's cash everywhere we'll see though i could be wrong but from what i'm seeing it's not going to be a great time hopefully i'm wrong either way guys i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments are you guys happy with this list do you feel like they did enough i i mean this is about as good as it gets i really would like it if they just never release a rice heart in this game but obviously that's a pipe dream that's not going to happen they are going to release the card i'm hoping they release a rice heart like as an sr and that they just ban it later down the line or something like that because it's just not a cool card it's not a fun it like the design of that card is it, it reads like a custom card straight up like a rice heart is so stupid i'll put it on the screen right now if you want to read it it's a really 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 dumb card and it's not gonna be fun to play around with so you know i'm glad they're hitting cash in advance but i, I don't know if it's really going to be enough to make cash not see a bunch of play but to be fair yeah Diablosis is super busted and I'd rather have cash without Diablosis than cash with them, right? Other than that, let me know other cards that you think should get off the list. Like I think Dragoon should get off the list, pretty much every list. And obviously the ultimate dream is that Maxi gets on the list, but we all know that's not going to happen. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Huge shout out to everyone supporting and uh, yeah, have a good day. Peace.